Hello, you're welcome. It's Henry the Computer Guy, and actually today I wanted to take you through the process of making your flash disk a bootable one, assuming that you have your operating system on a, a DVD. We already saw how we can make an image, up. and I think in our previous tutorials you can find that video there. So we actually made our image onto our desktop and remember we called it Windows 8 which is already here so we want to see how we can use a software called Rafas to specifically make our flash a bootable one so already we have the software remember creating a video on how we can download a software over the internet and I specifically downloaded Rafas so we are going to be using Rafas to make our flash disk a bootable one so what you have to do is to insert your flash disk into, a, into your computer. So I'll right click here and I open my computer. Also when you look here, the flash disk is not yet plugged. So what I'll do, I'll plug it into my USB port. So you can give it time and load. So it's already here now. What you're going to do, you can even rename it so I can give it the name of memory. I can give it Henry, so it is already now renamed as Henry. Now, I can take this aside such that I can look at my software that I have. Of course, we said we need the Rafas. I'm going to run my Rafas. I'll right click on my software, which is called Rafas. I'll say open. So I'll click yes because I want to run it. Give it time to open. Then it comes as this one. So now, of course, they have already identified our flash disk. It is already 4GB and I named it as Henry. So it's where our operating system is going to be put. Remember, we made an image already which is in Windows 8. It is already here. And we want for this Windows 8 to be loaded to our flash disk but in form of a portable format. For example, it's like going to become as a DVD or CD when you insert it in a computer, then you put your computer. So even in this case, the flash is going to be made a portable one. So now, so remember we made it in form of an ISO. So we already have our Windows 8 here in our folder. We made a tutorial, or I made a tutorial on how we can make an image and keep it on our computer from a CD or DVD if we are having. So now I'll come and choose the operating system I really want to put onto my flash disk. Remember it is on the desktop and in a folder called Windows 8. So I'll come there. I'll look for the file. So I'll come to my desktop. Then I'll come and look for the folder called Win8. Then I'll open it. When I open it, the image is already there. So I'll click on it and say Open. So it is exporting the files now. So it has been identified. And now what I'm going to do is to click the start button. So when I click the start, they are going to ask me whether I want to continue. But remember, when you start it or when you do this, or when you say, okay, all the files that are on the flash disk are going to be erased. That means that you have to first of all back your data up so that you cannot, you're not going to lose that data in case you need it. So the data which is there, I don't need it, so I can as well say OK. So it is going to erase everything which is there. So they are telling us that it's now deleting the files and it's formatting the new technology file system. So it is formatting it, then I think it is good to go now. One of the elementary steps are being taken here. And we are now writing, oops. So our flash disk is now being made a portable one and the files which are in Windows 8 are being extracted from our folder to our flash disk and they're telling us here that copying files to the flash disk and specifically remember it was an ISO format or it was an image so they are going to export all the files from our folder to our flash disk. So now, what I'm going to do, because I don't want to make the video long, I'm going to pause my video, then I'll again come back later when it has at least reached somewhere in the middle. 
So everyone make the video long, so I'll pause my video and come back later. Yeah, we're seeing our progress and uh, the files are being extracted from our folder from the desktop to our flash disk so it is showing us the progress here and we are soon reaching the middle yeah our progress is there they're showing us that our progress is there yeah our files are soon finishing we have to be a little bit patient so, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to click the subscription button below. And also, tell a friend to tell a friend. You can also share this video to a friend. Yeah, they're showing us our progress. They're showing us our progress. Yeah, they're showing us the progress. Yeah, don't worry. I pause the video so that I don't want to make it longer. Yeah, but we are soon finishing with our files. We are extracting the files to the flash disk. We have to be a little bit patient. We have to be a little bit patient. Yeah, our files are being extracted to the flash disk. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also share to a friend. Our progress is moving. Yeah. Our files are being extracted. A flash disk. Yeah, it can take some time. Don't worry, but it's soon completing. You have to be a little bit patient. And down here, they are showing us the progress. So they are showing us the progress. It is soon finishing. Files are being extracted. And after extracting all these files, our computer can as well be used. So we can actually use a flash disk that we have, let's say, been using to change our operating system. Remember, after this process, our flash disk is going to be now a bootable one. So we can use it the way you use the DVD or CD. That means that if you don't know how to install an operating system onto a computer, I already created a video on how you can install an operating system onto your computer. So you can revisit my videos. I'm trying to find out how exactly we can use this flash disk when it is bootable to install an operating system onto our computer. All the files are there. Just go to my playlist. You'll find it there. We watch it, then you'll be able to install an operating system onto your computer using a flash disk or a CD or DVD. Yeah, they're showing us that the progress and our files are soon completing. You have to be a little bit patient because it takes some time to extract all the files to the flash from our folder, which is Windows 8, you have to be a little bit patient. Yeah, it's soon finishing. Just a little bit patient. Just have to be a little bit patient. It's soon finishing. And now they are telling us that they are finalizing. Please wait. You have to look for the word 
done so it is showing us that it is 100 percent and it is now done so now all the files have been extracted to our flash disk making it a portable one so we can as well look for our flash disk and open and see whether there are some files there so we right click on my computer we come to open and our flash disk is really showing us that there is some information there so when i open it we shall see some of the files there so now this has been specifically the process how how you can create or make your flash disk a portable one and use it in a similar way the way you use the what the dvd or cd when you really change the operating system of your computer so it's been handy the computer guy please don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video bye bye